Hey guys, good morning from outside the White House. We've got Marine One coming in, kind of a last minute schedule change. I didn't get credentials today, but that's okay because I actually want to go out to Andrews and try to catch Air Force One. So let's go out, see what we can see. the staff with them. Yeah, that's the staff. Okay, watch here. You're going to see a military officer, yeah? Uh -huh. Second to last. Right there, that guy there. Uh -huh. He's carrying the football. Really? The football. Oh. World War III. Hey, okay. World War III in a suitcase. That is awesome. Wow. Great. Sarah? Yeah, Decoy's coming? Yeah. Decoy's up. I see him. Okay, guys, we missed Air Force One. That's kind of a bummer, but it happens. It's hard to get both at the same time. Uh, we're going to head over to GW and see what's going on over there because we heard it's kind of loud.
Greetings from Lafayette Park across from the White House. Uh, we're on a bike because we needed to relax. It's been an insane week and it's only Thursday. It feels like Friday. So let's just go out for a little bike ride the rest of the day. And if we see something cool, we see something cool. There's a gray squirrel. There's a black squirrel. That's cool. Um, we got a bunch of kids out in front. The president is due back uh, later tonight. I am not covering it because I didn't think I was going to be around, so I didn't credential in today. I credentialed in tomorrow, and let's make our way out of the park and go down the other side of the building. We'll hear some sirens, probably just the cops backing into parking. Don't think the vice president is leaving anytime soon, though she's around, I think. Let's take a look on West Executive Avenue, which is right over here. Shock. So down there is West Executive, and you know what? I, I see her car. Uh, she's her car is still there, so she's not gone anywhere yet. Blair House is pretty quiet, roped off, but I don't really think we got any visitors coming in this week. Tomorrow Biden is off to Delaware for the weekend, and uh, that's pretty much his normal operation. Takes the weekends back home in Delaware. Let's cut down this way. Oof. Now we're going to swing over by GW one more time, but not right now. I've spent enough time down there. Enough time down there this week. Let's go see what else is up in DC. A lot of birds. This is the Eisenhower building on my left, the president's office building where all the staff works so it's everybody it's like the gsa guys who clean the toilets to the guys who write his letters his scheduler he's got a whole bunch of staffers in this building we actually call there whenever the toilets back up in the press gallery which surprisingly happens more than you would imagine <laughs> all right where are we at down the side It is hot. It is like 90 something today. And uh, not overly humid, but not dry. Let's go around here. Get around these tours. So Air Force One is not due back until about two hours from now. Uh, in about an hour, the fire trucks will roll out and they'll lock this place down. But uh, I hope to be cooking dinner by that time. Ooh, what a nice day. Look at the clouds, no clouds early. I'm not sure why this is all fenced off. It's been fenced off for like a year or two. There's some purple construction flags out there. 
wonder what they're working on. Maybe they're just resodding the grass. It's been quite annoying because it makes it difficult to walk from one side of the ellipse to the other with a big fence in the middle. Let's go out to the mall, yeah? All right, so we are over on Constitution Avenue. Some sirens coming, probably just a cop. It's not that exciting unless there's like multiple sirens. Oh, it is one, it's almost an AMR. I think by the mall they have to run their sirens all the time, even at like three in the morning, which is quite annoying. We do have a fire on the other side of the Anacostia River today right now. It was a structure fire on the roof. Someone's solar panels caught fire. Yeah, <laughs> so uh, I looked at the map. It said 45 minutes to get there. I started my way to go down there, but the fire was well and truly out by the time, well, by the time I got here to the White House. And I still had another 20, 30 minutes to go. It's very difficult to get around in rush hour in DC. It just takes a lot of time. Okay, For some reason the bike just reset. That was kind of fun, couldn't pedal. Uh, over there, there's your Department of Interior building, now part of the Federal Reserve. And all the cranes and construction that I've been showing you for the last few months, still ongoing. And to the left is Constitutional Gardens. We looked at that the other day. If you haven't seen that, you just go back and look at my old videos, yeah? And let's go down this way, down to the Lincoln maybe. And then I just cut back up to campus. Hmm. Interesting little something welded out here. A wall. That's the Federal Reserve headquarters. The one you may have seen on CNBC and whatnot. And it's just gutted up all beyond belief. It looks like they built some temporary structure out front. See all this, uh, all these girders and such? I don't think the plans have anything going up there. Maybe they just put that there to store stuff. Or maybe they're going to move the whole wall at once. Don't know. Up over here is the National Academy of Sciences or the National Science Foundation or something. These are the guys who give out a lot of scholarships and awards for the study of science, engineering, uh, math, medicine, whatnot. It has the Einstein statue, which is out front. Let me see if I can get it a little bit better in frame there. Yeah, that's the statue of Albert Einstein. You see those people are climbing around on it. It's kind of a cool statue. Let's go down here make our way over to the Lincoln Memorial. Just to my left, just below me to the left, is the Vietnam Wall. Uh, it's sort of a recessed memorial. You can see, you can see the top of people's heads, uh, but the rest of their body is down low as they walk down. It's about 12, 15 feet when you get to the bottom of it. It's really quite yeah, that overwhelming. It has the effect you go down deeper into it and you're, then you're like, wow, this is so massive. And then you come back out of it. It's like things get better. It's really pretty whacked how they designed that to have that emotional feel as you go through it. All right, lots of tourists today. Ooh, they're just everywhere here at the Lincoln Memorial. We'll go around them. These are all the illegal water sellers. Hang for 140 seconds, win $140. Okay. You know, as if it wasn't enough of a carnival out here, we gotta have that kind of stuff. It really does feel like a state fair out here at times. There's a ranger. Rangers don't deal with that. That's assigned over to park police. Park police is too busy catching speeders on this road. Yeah, let's go down this way. Guys. And we're down at the park police stables where we've got a couple of horses just sunning themselves, having something to eat out here in a little play area. Oh, there's another horse down here too. This is the U.S. Park Police stables. Uh, this is their forward operating base, basically. 
Oh, there's a horse inside. He's just got his head over the over the rail there. And then another horse here. I think this horse could actually come out if he just came one out the other way. So you just look around. Ah, a bunch of ultimate frisbee players because college never ends. Yeah? <laughs> A lot of kids playing out here on the John F. Kennedy hockey fields. Yeah, that's what this is called, JFK hockey fields, next to the Korean War Memorial. Some of you might say, hey, Penguin, you just took us here a couple of days ago. Well, yeah, but um, this is where I'm at today, you know, so it's where we're going to ride around. So we'll see it again, and we'll see it again next week or the week after. Who knows? So how you find cool stuff is you do the same stuff, and then cool stuff just sort of happens, yeah? Okay, so we're back here. By the way, this is the only building to ever fire fall. Blah, blah, blah. This is the only building to ever fall under fire in World War II. Yeah, this building was attacked by an anti-aircraft gun that misfired on another place on the mall, and a round was shot across the mall and hit just up there above the Maryland Seal, which is just above that part that's under construction. If you look really, really hard with a big camera, you can see an indentation into the monument. It's likely where the round hit it. I wanted to point something out as we make our way down here, you guys may notice from time to time, and that is this. We have a lot of trees in Washington, D.C. D.C. is a tree city, as you would say, and if you fly into the city, you'd be shocked that, you know, probably 40% of it is not even visible from the air because there's just so many trees, especially in the northwest sector, uh, the more tony posh bits. Uh, it uh, is basically just covered in tree cover. And they go really out of their way to protect the trees when they do construction. Uh, you gotta protect, you gotta stay away from them with your construction equipment. You gotta sort of take care of them as you redo roads or cut utility scars or anything like that. And they really pride themselves on their trees here. It's nice, it gives you some shade, which is definitely needed. Engine Company 23 the fire station down here. You just barely be able to get that truck inside there. All right, let's make our way over. I think it's just a block or two from here. Yeah, this is Quigley's. Oh, there it is. There's the entrance right there under the textile museum. Got a great picture of you, man. Did. You see it? No, I didn't see it. Here, what's the Twitter? Penguin Six. Okay. Here, I'll show you. Penguin Six. Oh wow, it's pretty chill. I've got the Palestinian flag up. Let's go find the hatchet guys. Uh, <laughs> So this is H3. This is the most likely to be cleared because this is DC government property. And they kind of want this road reopened. They're kind of annoyed. A lot of you guys were asking why do some of the tents all look the same? And I, I can tell you from my own experience that these tents are Ozark Trail. A lot of these are Ozark Trail, which is the in-house brand of Walmart. <laughs> so you're seeing a lot of Walmart tents. Uh, anything that says Ozark Trail is from Walmart. And they're pretty cheap nowadays. Tents are like 25, 30 bucks at Walmart. I was looking to go camping with my kids and I just checked them out the other day. Okay, enough of that. Pretty chill. So, uh, you know, I think I'm just gonna get something to eat and go take my wife home. 
I haven't decided if I'm gonna cook for or just eat a piece of pizza here. Okay guys, so I decided we're gonna take the wife out to dinner because I just don't feel like eating pizza. We're gonna get something good. Uh, that was my day. Uh, tomorrow, more of the same, less, I don't know. Every day is a mystery, but I'll keep showing you stuff. Thanks a lot for watching. See you tomorrow.